All right, so we're out prospecting today. We're on a property which has uh, some decent exposed rock here. You got uh, schistose rock. You got some a little bit of quartz veins amongst it, and you have solid veins of sulfides. And we are going to be hammering away at this oxidized rock. Um, there's a nice pure sulfide vein down here. You can see there's uh, disseminations there. We'll go take a look at the uh, pure vein and we'll s show you what we're going to hammer out and uh, take a few samples deeper in. So right here you have a decent one. You can see you got pure sulfides. Uh, this is an entire vein of sulfides right here. You have lots of rock with disseminated chalcopyrite and pyrite and we are going to remove some and show you the samples. We'll show you these hair results at the end of the video. Broken off. So you can see there's uh, quite a bit of uh, mineral in there. Nice looking uh, quartz vein. Lots of sulfides. Uh, should be pretty promising, but uh, we'll never know until the assays. So there's your first sample. We're going to be uh, sending everything in at once for a bulk kind of sample. There's seven spots exposed and we're going to send all those in as one sample. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so we got another uh, sample here. Again, this is uh, solid sulfides with a little bit of quartz in there and a little bit of your uh, mica schists. So this is a really, really nice sample. It's just solid mineral. Here's uh, another piece of it. All right, let's uh, continue hammering and uh, we'll see what else we find. So we're finding a couple of these grab samples from here. So we're gonna search this area, see if we can find anything with decent mineralization. This all has disseminations on it of uh, pyrite and chalcopyrite. I'll be right there. Got a nice little uh, stringer vein right there, quartz vein there, and oh, look at that. Not sure where this is from, doesn't look like it's from this piece right here, uh, but that is a super sample. So this right here is a chalcopyrite, that's pyrite right there. A little hard to tell the difference, uh, it's almost getting dark out here, but that is definitely chalcopyrite. And quartz, more chalcopyrite. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably send this sample in separately because it looks a little different than the other ones. Um, so let's keep going. Here's the next uh, sample we hammered off. A little bit less amount of sulfides but uh, we're still going to include this in our sample. So far we've got about 50 kilograms. We're going to see if we can get 100 and we're going to just uh, send in a random 10 kilogram sample. Uh, we're also noticing over here that there's quite a few grab samples on the road. 
that you can just pick up. So again, that's a decent sample. A little bit of quartz, calcopyrite, pyrite. So uh, interesting to see what the results are for these. So it's getting kind of dark, but uh, we'll show these samples here. Um, some more ones that we hammered off that uh, solid mineral vein. So you can see just basically solid uh, coarse grain pyrite. And uh, don't know what's in here. We will see. Got a little pyrotite in there as well. So this is really heavy. More samples. So this area does have uh, decent um, gold, silver, some copper, and it's also got platinum and palladium. So that's kind of the results we're looking for here. Um, there's a few more samples that have a little bit more calcopyrite than some of the other ones we've tested. So this is a grab sample off the road. There's small little sample disseminations. And some more. All right, let's continue on. All right, so I just wanted to show everyone the extent of the exposure. You have an exposed uh, piece of bedrock there, here, here, again there, more along here. Nice solid mineral vein right there. It's about uh, 15 centimeters wide. You got some more stringers of sulfides in here. And then your oxidization kind of peters out when you get over to here. But then it continues over here. We did send a sample from here the last time. Um, it had okay results. And then if you continue down the road, um, this also continues for another about 50, 60 meters. So there's a lot of potential with this property. And we're finding a lot of uh, good mineral here. So we got a few more samples to show you. And then uh, that's all for tonight. It's getting dark. So we'll take a look at these. And then head home. So here's another grab sample. With more mineral here. Another grab sample with a little bit of looks like pyrite on it. A little bit more there. And here you have a solid pyrite in a solid pyrite vein. This is fairly coarse sulfides. Don't know what's going to be in this, but uh, we're going to be sending Three samples in now we've decided. Uh, we're gonna send in a couple grab samples and then we're gonna send a bulk sample of the entire exposure. All right, so that's all the time we have for today. Hope everyone enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon, www.patreon.com backslash mining. We'll have more extra content and photos and videos to come for all our patrons. Thanks so much for all your support. Have a good one, everyone.